what is up everybody so recently i have been inspired to declutter my closet but before i give away my clothing i thought i would like to throw a funeral for them um, so first one is sorry phoebe she got me this skirt for my birthday because i asked for it um but that was like six years ago so um it's still a really pretty gingham skirt uh, and i wore it a lot when i wore it but i have a lot of long skirts now because of my job like this used to be my only long skirt and it's not even that long this one these pair of pants i also wore a lot um i got them in like my last year of uni these are balloon pants from spins um yeah i made lots of cool looks with them and i love them so much that i got a pink version which i wore twice also because it was five dollars um but yeah they're really big so they don't actually really fit that well and then i loved it so much i got a white version at the same time as the pink one which is also five dollars but i wore this about zero times <laughs> no pics yeah. okay and then um i got this one from shopee uh because i like the green version so much that i bought another one but this material is totally different from the green one and i realized when i wear this it just makes me look like i'm in pajamas so goodbye then i got these these used to be my perfect pair of pants i mean like design wise i thought it was really really cool i got this from shein when i still shopped there uh, but that was my first time ordering so I ordered an S and it was so big so it doesn't really fit very well either and very sad we are parting ways with my purple zebra pants um, I just realized that this like cut is not flattering for me even though I really like the purple a lot uh, but um, anyway elastic bands no go because it makes you look like you have a saggy diaper and it's also very short. So these are called chef pants, but uh, no, no chef pants. Anyway, but I got these from Spins and I really like them at the time and I wore them a lot. Um, speaking of chef pants, we have this one in blue, which also served me well. Actually, I didn't even like, I think the last time I wore this was like last summer, which was not too long ago uh, compared to my other clothing. But yeah, it's really nice and thin so it's good for summer but again saggy butt and it's short so last one i promise for pants um my actual zebra pants which i also love and also very thin and also very nice to wear during summer uh but yeah same problems so i hope someone enjoys my funky pant collection uh i got this from spins as well so spins used to be my favorite brand now i'm not really into that and i don't I only thrift now. I wore this for school graduation, not my school graduation, um, the March school graduation. And it has a really nice detail here. But I kind of realized maybe I don't really like long dresses with long sleeves, which is ironic because I just bought a dress with long. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that, okay. Um, Speaking of lace-up detail, I also bought this one. I think this is the oldest piece I own that I'm giving away. I got this when I was like 15 uh, in the peak of my Lolita obsession. And I wore this about like twice. Honestly, because I was still in Singapore, like this, the it was not it. Like weather appropriate, no, not weather appropriate at all. But it has this really cool like lace-up detailing at the back and all these lace, not really, was it? Yeah, it is lace. But I'm over it. Probably also the most expensive thing I made, to be honest. I think I got for like $30. $30. Uh, the next thing I do not really have emotional attachment to because I got this for free from my friend um, in the dorm while I was still there. And I wore it like one, two times. Uh, yeah, nah. Not, not much to say. It's a pink jacket. I realize pink isn't my color. Which is why I'm also giving away this pink dress. Um, yeah, this is cute. I got it from Cotton On. 
Um, yeah, you know, I had my fun with this. I think I realize it's a bit short as well. Um, next one. Ugh, so speaking of funky pants era and pink era, now we're going to checkerboard era. Very sad because this was so iconic. I was so happy when I got this. This is from Flappers, which is like bougie up spins. And I got this on sale for $10, I think. It's either 20 or 10 Um, But I was really happy to get this piece. Uh, and I wore it a few times, yeah. But I honestly, like, when, what, what weather is good weather to wear long sleeves? N never. Um, also, mm, <laughs> to be honest, I'm still kind of on the fence about this. I don't know whether to keep it in my secret t-shirt stash or to just give it away. I wore this so many times. This is one of my, like, key t-shirts. But I don't really wear t-shirts anymore, so that's the thing. Um... Uh, this one too. This is from Forever 21, when there still was Forever 21, uh, from Shinjuku. So, you know what? It's a collectible. It's a vintage piece when they had a collaboration with Wilson. I have another one, a white version of this, and I realize I don't really wear yellow anymore either. Oh, this was in my primary color era, so red, blue, yellow. And speaking of Forever 21, this was also from Forever 21, and I wore this a total of zero times. It's kind of sad. If it was in black, I'd probably wear it a lot more. Somehow, I just don't really style white mesh. Oh, this is the neon color era. So sad. Uh, eagle era, yes. Also, yes, it is the end of my eagle era. Okay, everyone. Uh, goodbye, lime green turtleneck. I wore you so many times, and I even bought this one at full price. Can you believe? Like, I never buy things full price, but I bought this for full price of $15. I got this one from YesStyle. This was also a very key piece in my ego era, but we are saying goodbye to it. Used to layer it under t-shirts all the time. But I really haven't worn this one since... I've moved here, so maybe for the past two years or so. This one also, yeah, um, got this from Spins. I love the sleeves. Like, I still do really like the sleeves because they're not tight and they are wide. But I used to pair orange with my checkerboard a lot. But I really haven't worn that in a while as well. This is also from Spins. Uh, you know, I just bought this about like two or three times, honestly. Uh, not much to say about that one. I got this from Shopee when I first wanted to get into sweater vests, and then I had the purple version of this. And I think the reason why I don't style it as much is because it's not as oversized as I want it to be, and it's kind of like the middle where it's not a crop and it's not oversized. So it's particularly hard to style. Oh, this is also Forever 21. <laughs> um, I really like the feature of the, the checkered hood against the red. But yeah, I neither wear red nor checkerboard anymore. Maybe, okay, I still, I'm keeping one pair of pants because I really like those pants. But uh, we're saying goodbye to this one. What is this? Oh, this is... Okay, this is like really much older Forever 21, like before I even went to Japan. Um, so maybe like seven years ago, I got this. And I used to only have this white blouse and I would wear it for like formal occasions, like job interviews. Which is honestly thinking about it now, this is so not appropriate because first of all, it's a medium so it doesn't fit me very well. Um, second of all, it's quite like low. But anyway, while I brought it to a work, no, 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 I once bought, I still have it. I don't know how to get rid of it. If you know how to get rid of it, please tell me. I once bought a steamer. I bought a steamer, not once. I bought a steamer from a thrift store and I used it. And I burned a hole through it. To be honest, like, it doesn't really matter because when I tuck it in, you can't see it. 
but you know it's time to retire this but also i guess i have to throw this away i can't like sell it or give it away because there's a hole um she tried she tried diy and she never wore it i mean it's kind of cute it is cute just that i just never wore it like i had this white shirt for a while it was i cut it first and then i never wore it and then i decided to DIY to wear it more and then I never wore it so the moral of the story is if you don't wear something just give it away yeah yeah okay to be fair there are things that I have DIY that I started wearing once I DIY them but that's usually from pants to shorts so I think all the shirts that I DIY, I don't really wear. That's a lesson for you, Hannah. Remember, if you ever watch this video again. And then last but not least, oh, this guy, man. This dress. I wore this dress many times as well. I got this, yeah, before I entered university. I got this on Style Nanda from Zalora. And I think I only got it for $27. I remember I was so happy um, so it is a beautiful dress it's just the, the big thing is and I don't know why I wore so many times even so that the sleeves are no the, the straps are really long and so it gives you saggy boob um, it's just really low basically um, but if you would like to cut it sew it and then tie it that would be a great option and honestly I would still keep it but this is the thing that I have thrifted so many black dresses since. I used to have zero black dresses. And now I have so many that I'm fine with giving this away now. Because uh, it, has, it has had its time, you know. So, thank you for attending my clothing funeral. Um, we will now proceed to the music. <laughs> 